2019 Volkswagen Cross Car Review. It's quite difficult to make this type of small vehicle look impressive, however that cross rather tall, 61.4 inch height does lend it some presence in the curb, despite its diminutive footprint. Depending around the configuration, that crosses between 161.7 and 166.7 inches long and it is situated over a 100.4 inch wheelbase, turning it into similar in space to the Ford EcoSport. The hood is quite tall, as well as the rear end is dominated by a chunky, horizontal trim piece that connects the taillights. It's a distinctive styling element using a car that otherwise doesn't look much totally different from several other VWs. Pleasantly appointed. The tough guy exterior corresponds through an unusually well-equipped interior. Sure, there are numerous hard plastic surfaces, a sizable and optional digital instrument cluster plus a big central touchscreen infotainment system that could look at home at the loftier cost. While the surface materials aren't exactly upscale, these are at least funky. VW supplies a range of colorful design choices perfect to a rabidly individualist consumer base, regardless of whether through buyers might think they are watchy to get rid of the Rubicon trail that crosses front wheel drive only, of course. To be fair, there are several tasteful choices from the cross order sheet such as Reline interior featuring its titone gray and black seats. The VW's seating position is commendable, with numerous headroom both beforehand and in the trunk, along with the seats are pleasantly firm. While stretch out space from the back is fixed, the 6040 split rear seats slip a total of 5.5 inches fore and aft and there is up to 16 cubic feet of cargo space behind them and also a decent 45 cubes while using chairs folded down. Design for the connected lifestyle, the cross features four USB ports and also a wireless inductive charging pad for cellular phones. A 300 watt beat stereo audio is for the options list. Despite its modest market position, Standard active safety technologies include forward automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, blind spot monitoring, and lane departure warning. Adaptive cruise control along with an automated parking assistant, not which the tiny cross actually needs it, cost extra, just like LED headlights to suit the standard LED taillights. Solid for the road. Powering the cross certainly are a lineup of frugal turbocharged engines, a 60 minute.0 liter inland 3 in 94 or 113 horsepower outputs can be acquired at launch, with single.5 liter inland 4 beneficial to 148 horsepower as well as a 94 horsepower 1.6 liter diesel inland 4 joining the lineup shortly thereafter. While we didn't be able to drive greater powerful gasoline 4, the three-cylinder power plants provided ample fun, only when modest acceleration, when associated with their standard manual transmissions of 5-speed unit while using base engine along with a 6-speed for your 113 horsepower version. A 7-speed dual-clutch automatic, which shifts unobtrusively but feels rather dull during sportier driving, is optional on although the entry-level 1.0-liter powertrain. We also briefly drove it cross together with the diesel engine, mated to some tall geared 5 speed manual. While it was content to purr along happily in normal driving, it could possibly pull through its rev range with respectable force when pushed, and with notably better fuel efficiency compared to the gasoline engines. There is no hybrid or electric version from the cards, though. The little Volkswagen shines within the road. The balanced, pleasantly firm suspension can certainly cope with all the thrust from your powertrains we sampled, then there is little body roll, that is impressive in the car's elevated center of gravity. The steering provides precise if hushed feedback, along with that cross feels predictable and around neutral nearly its handling limit. As you push that cross harder, 
Another thing becomes clear, despite the company's diesel-related troubles, Volkswagen still could make great driving vehicles. Many similar Wii crossover senses numb and underwhelming when driving, however that cross is effective as both a long-distance cruiser along with a moderately capable driver's car. It's a shame which it won't be sold within the United States, however it does make us feel optimistic concerning the subcompact SUV that VW is working on with the US market.